In this next video you can see I've got in Word 2013 a text box here. Let's me put quotes in or information. But maybe this is on page one, it's a lead article, a bit like a magazine or newspaper. The rest of this carries on on a different page. So if I scroll down to page three, I'd like the text to carry on and move into this text box. Back on page one we click into this text box and looking at the tabs if we go to drawing tools format there's a group called text and in here we've got things like text direction, align the text but there's a small chain link which is to create a link to another text box. So when I click on to that you'll see on the document there's a, a small beaker or mug containing letters. So we're going from this text box scrolling down to page 3 and you can see as I move the mouse into that text box I'll show you again the beaker is full and vertical and it's tipping the letters into this text box here, so I quite like this feature. So we click in there, you may not see anything yet, but going back to page one, if I replace that placeholder text with some random text here, So let's put rand 5 comma 5. Did you see that? The text has flown all the way down into page 3. If I resize this, the text is still flowing into this text box on page 3 from the text box on page one. Let's resize this one. So you can create newspaper articles or magazine style articles this way. And the text can flow across any page to any other page between two text boxes. That chain link is breakable if I go back to the first tech box. You can see on the menu it now says break link to break that connection. So it's a handy little feature when you're creating this sort of document.